Hey guys, Dolan here, as I accidentally pushed around Gordon, didn't mean to do that. So, I've had a lot of people ask me how I went and did the crank pin mods with the wall shirt valve gear on the locomotives. So this, this is just something that I really wanted to do. I thought it would be fun to do. Um, so, on Henry, I've only done one side so far. Henry's been the hardest engine to model so far, as you can see, because that has to go behind there. But, yeah. I didn't do this side to specifically show you guys how, how I can get that uh, situated. So, we're going to go through the materials you need. So, the materials you're going to need are, you're going to need some fabric pins. You're going to need a piece of cardstock cut into, like, the same, the, like an egg shape. Kind of like how the axle... The axles are so you're gonna need that you're gonna need I a lot of people say you should use a lollipop stick and some toothpicks I just ended up using a uh, good plain old and then just use a q-tip of sorts and you're gonna want to drill a hole in the front of it you can see there where there is one you're gonna want to drill a hole into the front of it and then you'll and those are the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need a Q-tip, some fabric pins, and this. I would also recommend having a modified side rod. As you can see here. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, another piece like Gordon's thing here. Uh, I just cut a side rod that I don't use anymore in half. And went from there. Uh, but on Henry's one side... I used a 3D printed piece that I had. I have another one here somewhere, but not sure where. But yeah, so that's that's what I do for that. Oh, Henry, you got something right there. So yeah, um, yeah. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. So pretty simple, really. You're gonna want to, like I mentioned before, drill a hole into. If you have a Dremel, use a Dremel. And you're going to want to drill a hole into that that q-tip you're not going to use the whole q-tip you're only going to use a little bit of it so and always make sure that you drill a hole into a side rod if you have a side rod you don't use no more because you're going to want to have something kind of like this and then it's going to sit like that kind of so yeah I want something like that and you want to cut this down to size because you're gonna have to glue it inside the wheel so I'd say this here is about a centimeter so I'd cut it down to about centimeter size uh, take a pair of pliers and crimp the one side of it so therefore when you stick it in the wheel housing before you glue it, it's not going to go anywhere. So, yeah, you're going to want something like that inside your wheel. Yeah, you're going to want something like that inside your wheel. And you want to make sure that the axle that goes on for this will fit so we're gonna I probably would recommend gluing this so you'll want to glue it just get the trusty old super glue and that should glue it so it's glued as you can see it fits under that there so yeah, you want to be careful with it though. You don't want to have too much missing and do you want to be able to just have enough sticking up through the top of the wheel there to where this right here can sit on top. So where you can take the side rod and just sit it on top. This system is a whole bunch of trial and error. 
you want to be super careful with it. So you're, there you go. There's that. Now this next part, you want to take your fabric pins. And you want to glue one on... You want to glue one on this side here at the bottom. And then you want to glue one on the other side near the top. So once you glue your fabric pins on... And then you'll want to have something... Something like this. So this side will be what goes into the wheel there. This side will be what goes on the outside for the crank pin itself. So, and then... But you want to be careful, because... As I mentioned with Henry on this side, which I've got to fix. I hate that this happened. But we'll glue that back on, and we'll come right back. But once you have this piece, it'll actually just sit in the little spot where the axle is on here. It actually just goes right in. And for my case, I have to trim it shorter. I just thought we'd take a little break in the middle of this video to take a look at the brand new Sidor Chronicles Edward. So, I wanted to go with the blue that represents Thomas, you know, and how Thomas is a lighter blue. The the one models, they're a lighter blue, you know? So, what we went with is we went with, uh... We went with the multi-surface apple barrel electric blue and so that's how we got edward looking like this and then we did the black for the space between his firebox because his firebox starts at that little boiler band right there that needs to come down but and then we added the splasher bits that make it pre-rebuild but also post-rebuild edward um the cab is hollow and painted on the inside too, for the most part. That side's not painted, but that side is mostly painted. Um, I've been thinking about adding a little bit of cab controls just on the back here, just to just to make Edward look better. So yeah, and you can see it's just the just that paint there. If I add a floor to his cab, that'll be that'll be pretty nice. Thinking about doing something like that. He's got step ladders, and he's got my, and he's got brand new side rods painted black to kind of match Thomas's. Um, so yeah. As of right now, Edward has no tender. Uh, we are working on that. I do want to give Edward a tender here soon. He does have a removable lamp with a lamp iron underneath. So if you wanted to, you can always put you know, that there, or per se that lamp on that side. Or, like Gordon, for instance, if I had more player L lamps, which I will be designing more. I'm making more because I like how they look. Good. It'll look like that. Make it look like Edward's exploit. I will be making a version of this body shell that does have the Edward exploit damage on the side of it. Um, that's going to be hell fun. I do know that I probably should look into making these lamp irons small. But, yeah, so we just... You got multi-service electric blue. That's the paint we use for Edward. That's the paint we're going to be using for the brand new Soto Chronicles Gordon that's going to be made. And, yeah. I, lo I also gave Edward a clear coat, so his paint's protected. And we used All Engine Go solid blue wheels here, just because they're easy to come by. You can pick up Gordon at a your local Walmart or whatnot for, like, God, seven bucks. On a good day, pick up Gordon for seven bucks and you have no problem whatsoever. So yeah, I just wanted to take a quick look at Edward because, one, honestly, I know you guys love Edward and the Sodor Chronicles Edward in general, and unfortunately, yes, we did retire this one here, but he had a good run. I just, I hate that he's not the same color anymore, so yeah. And there are also people who might be wondering and thinking I might be shooting you on that. Are this actually working? No, this works. And it works. It does wonders. Tommy Old Iron did it with a uh, with an older Henry. I'm doing it with a slightly newer Henry, or with a 20, 2018 Henry bot, or not body, but chassis modified to 
Henry himself has been modified to have buggy wheels, but that's besides the point. So is Gordon. And the good thing is, is we've got printing more parts, but, so, while well, those parts print, we got this here. And this is exactly how you want this. The small end here needs to go in the axle hole. Those who got super good that doesn't try to fly. We'll have to do some more trimming to the body shell, but... Or to the inside of the body shell. I'll make Henry just slightly wider so y'all can do this in future. But that's how it works. We've got one more part printing, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that real quick. We were able to get stick for the most part, but we'll have to take a look here again in a minute. So we got those those parts printed, but I just wanted to show that, that we did modify the body, body shell just a little bit to be able to get that axle to go up under the edge of Henry's thing right there. Which is how it would have been in real life. The, ac the axle itself, the... <laughs> The crank pin itself would have went under that little section there. So yeah, so like, see when the wheel sits up like that, and then... While it does not move too far around in a motion like that, the main, radi uh, the main radius rod does. So, yeah. Just gotta wait for those parts to finish cooling down on the printer, and then we should be good to go. So unfortunately when I was printing, I completely forgot that I was using uh, my clear filament. So here we've got a brand new radius rod printed in clear re or not clear resin, uh, clear PLA. So that will go right here on top of things we can use to fix that. But what we need to do is we need to go ahead and fit this clear clear expansion rod. So we're going to fit that. I went ahead and added what I think is called the expansion link. So all I've got to do now is just add in the radius rod. And that should be it to finish Henry, I think. I made him modification to this here so technically where you could just if you really 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 wanted to there you go and then you link the radius rod right in that general area all right and there you go there's a technical radius rod and it'll work something like this Obviously, if you put cap on it. So, yeah, that's what you'll want to do. You'll want to... You'll want to take this, and what you'll do is... Just sit it there like that. I just cut it off via that. And then install a cap. Which... It's not hard to do. But I think I cut it a little too short. Hopefully not. And you just cut... Cut yourself a cap. I'll get one real quick cut. Cap doesn't have to be huge. It can be small. And it just needs to cover the end of the axle. So. And then you just want to let that cap dry. And once it dries, it should hold steady. And once you put that cap on, and you add all those parts there, it should virtually be ready for you to use. So, just be careful with it. Remember, this is a this is a mod that you will need to create your own parts for, which I 3D print my own, except for just a couple other pieces. You know, just a just a few pieces that I don't need here and there. So, I really hope you all enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making this Henry, uh, and the Valve Gear. The Valve Gear was very fun. So, I'm probably going to run Henry, and I'll just show you down the track that it works there, too. I did just want to show you real quick that it does work. 
and maybe a short distance to run, but I will show you the jam I It's definitely a mod I recommend everybody doing just to make their play around and just look better. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for y'all. And I just I hope y'all have a great day or weekend or evening or whenever the hell you're watching this. I don't even know how long I'm going to be watching. Yeah. See y'all later.